Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Ask the Nanny. Tonight, my special guest is special to me because she changed the trajectory of my career. And I will forever be grateful. I'm going to let her introduce herself to you and tell us a fun fact about herself while I share this with uh, the group so everybody can come in and join. Okay, Miss Tanya. <laughs> Good evening, Angela. It's always a pleasure to join you. Uh, for those of you who are joining us, my name is Tanya Sackwitz and I own Newborn Care Solutions. We are an education company that provides education for nannies, postpartum doulas, daycare workers, and even parents who want to learn more about newborns and young children and ways to benefit them. But particularly, we help nannies and postpartum doulas and daycare workers really learn the ins and outs of what it takes to be a newborn care specialist and to be very successful in that. Uh, our courses are offered online. And what I think we're going to talk about mostly tonight is getting back to offering classes live with real people. So I'm very excited about that. I am too. I am so excited. Okay, so your fun fact? Uh, fun fact. I live in Arizona and it is already quite warm, quite hot here. We've had 100 degree days, but I'm originally from the Pacific Northwest where 100 degree days is a day where you like think you're gonna die. Um, and after 20 years, I've adapted to living in the desert. Um, but I'm still, no matter how much I love it here, I'm still a Pacific Northwest girl at heart. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'm using a different phone and my, my groups are all out of order. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, I can't find it. She's almost done talking. Hurry up. All right. <laughs> We're fine. That's the beautiful thing about doing things live, Angela. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes and most people who watch are pretty darn gracious about it. Well, I truly, I truly appreciate the graciousness because I'm just like lost on this because it's not pinned the way I want it pinned. Mm -hmm. So I can just go tick, 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 tick. Right. So um, tell us, I'm going to start from the beginning. Why babies? Why babies? <laughs> why, did you, why did you choose babies out of all the ages? Why babies? You know, I honestly, I held my first newborn at 11 years old because I was one of the neighborhood babysitters. Most of you who are passionate about working with kids understand exactly what I'm talking about because mm -hmm. you were there too. And I was working for a family. They had a new baby, but they had a four year and a two year old. And we all know. Third time parents are a little different than first time parents. And he was two weeks old and his parents are like, we're going out to dinner. We need you to come watch the kids. And he, my mom had a rule that I could only babysit when she was home. Um, and he was fussy and he was fussy and he was fussy. And it was breaking my heart because I couldn't figure out how to fix it. And so I called my mom and my mom came down and she said, well, honey, here's what's going on. You need to get out of his face and sit down with him. And she sat down in a rocking chair and she just put him up on her shoulder, started patting his little bum and rocking. And of course he went right to sleep as soon as I got out of his face. And I was like, hey, I wanna know how to do that. And I was fascinated. I was enthralled at how different taking care of a two month old was than a two year old. But I quickly discovered, even at that very young age, if you pay attention to how they're responding, they will tell you what their needs are. And I've just been enthralled and fascinated and curious about newborns ever since then. Now, let's be real. I've worked with kids all the way up to the oldest I worked with was 15 when I left. Uh, my friends were shocked that I took a job with older children but newborns have always been my passion and particularly newborn multiples. Mm. So. Our stories are so much alike. I started mm. at 11. I love twins. Now above twins, unless I have some help, <laughs> mm -mm. I tried the triplet thing and they were a year old. I was like, this is not for me. Mm -hmm. uh, nope, nope, I love nope. triplets. I love uh, triplets. I, I I love you probably love you probably love triplets as much as I love twins. 
I, I've had over 38 sets of twins that I've cared for. So I'm just like the twin, yes. Um, but tell me, um, I know a new class is coming, but before we get started with that, um, I have a what I like to call my own personal testimony about Tanya's live class. I was at the live class and it's almost the same exact day. I was like, oh my gosh, because it was it was on my birthday. And mm -hmm. it's almost the same exact day. And I was there and I'm like, okay, so I'm taking this class. I've been working with newborns for blah, 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 umpteen years. But when I took the class, I was able to say, this is what this is. This is what that is. This is what this is. And even if you have experience and you know, well, it works, but why does it work? Because it just works. It, you mm -hmm. can't tell a parent, I know it works because it works. It has worked many times before, but what do you call it? Let me look it up. Right. That makes parents lose confidence in you. Mm -hmm. When I walked away from Tanya's class, I was literally in tears because all the, it was like me being a baby and all the little aha moments. <gasps> that's why I do it. That that's exactly what I do. That's why I do what I do. Oh, there's a name for that. I didn't know there was a name for that. So when I put the scientific names with the just the normal everyday things that I do, it made sense. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Yes, this is what I've been missing. This is what I have been looking for. So I don't care if you have all the experience in the world. I I took Tanya's class, what was it, 2018? Mm. 17, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, something. Somewhere around there, 17, 18, somewhere around there. But I took her class and I was at the live um, class and being there live and in person it's just something, it just does something to you and you can talk to people and get their opinions about what's going on. Trust me, if you have, you on the fence, take the class, take the class. Now, getting into the class, <laughs> so it's going to be a live class mm -hmm. um, in Denver. Let me pull up, let me pull up my information so I can make sure I'm, I'm doing this, saying this right. It's a Denver a live training and a filming. Oh, mm -hmm. so you could be on film. Oh, and you know what that means? That you're going to be in the training video that's online. Possibly, so, yes. It, it's, it's, it's a possibility mm -hmm. that it will happen. Okay, so tell us about the course. I know you're doing the, the, the foundational course mm -hmm. uh, on July the 24th and 25th. But there's also an advanced training class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the foundational will be our traditional foundational. That one is not a filming event. Um, okay. But, and then, so this is going to be a long week for me. But we decided we get so many requests in Denver. And as most of you who know anything about newborn care know, the newborn care specialist world has exploded. And the demand is through the roof. Agencies are posting every single week in our student group now. I see people posting every day. I get requests from agencies regularly now looking for people. Um, and the Denver market is huge. And it's really been amazing because there's some great agencies that place up there. And normally we don't go back to a city as often, but Denver has asked us to come back again and yeah. we feel like it's worth it. So Saturday, Sunday, we're doing the foundational because we know predominantly the foundational is attended by nannies and they work Monday through Friday most of the time. So we kept that on the weekend. It's our traditional foundational, but I'm taking Monday off because after talking for 20 hours straight over the course of two days, I need a little break. Um, but we have a large enough audience in Denver and we've had enough requests that we are going to teach our advanced class in Denver on Tuesday and Wednesday. But we also decided um, our goal had originally been in 2020 to update some of the segments of the advanced class. There's some terminology we need to update. Uh, there is, is some science that we need to update. And we wanted to do that in 2020. We all know 
what 2020 did to our lives. Oh, yes. right? yes. So that got put on hold. Um, so Tuesday is going to be just a standard day. There will be no filming on Tuesday, but the class is going to be taught out of order. Now, in the advanced class, one segment does not build on the other. They're all each little individual segments of topics. Um, and so we're going to save the ones that need to be refilmed for Wednesday afternoon. So Wednesday afternoon is when the filming will start. And we're going to reshoot those segments of the advance that need to be updated Wednesday afternoon. And then Wednesday evening, we're going to shoot and update Green is the New Black because there are medical terminology and um, social construct things that need to be changed in the green is the new black. And so we will be updating that and refilming that on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, we have two entirely new classes that we will be filming. And so the audience there on Thursday um, and that one is selling really fast, our two new classes on Thursday. Um, they will be the first to see either one of those. Uh, one is called The First Six Weeks. And the point of that is to really focus the fact that a lot of nannies and even postpartum doulas do not necessarily handle babies, but particularly nannies, in the first few weeks. And Yet, if you are a newborn care specialist or a postpartum doula who comes in early on, you're there during that time period. Mm -hmm. So we're going to focus on appearance, behaviors, milestones, reflexes, and medical concerns of just the first six weeks. So we're going to look at that and go essentially kind of week by week and look at those things in depth. And then, and that class is designed for nannies postpartum doulas, NCS, and parents. So it's not an NCS specific class at all. Okay. So it is for everyone who might possibly be working with in any capacity or have their hands on a newborn baby. Um, and same thing with our food allergies in depth class. It is not NCS specific. And we're going to talk about food allergies in even toddlers and preschoolers and elementary age kids but we're gonna go in depth. So we're gonna cover the basics, which we cover in our foundational class. You know, what are the big eight allergens? What's an allergy look like? What's an anaphylactic response? But this we're gonna get more in depth into things like FPIs and EOE and other types, specific types of food allergies that are a little bit different than your traditional anaphylaxis, but are equally as important and equally as serious because a lot of what we are starting to see is babies that people think, oh, well, they just have indigestion or they just have this or that, you know, things like, does blood in the stool always indicate an allergy? Not a traditional allergy, always. Sometimes it's something else entirely. So we're gonna really kind of dig into food allergies to help nannies, newborn care specialists, doulas, and parents have a much greater understanding around the variety of presentation of food allergies, what the symptoms are, how they're diagnosed, and how that impacts you as a caregiver. Um, so we're gonna oh, go into I want to come to those classes, the allergy. Mm -hmm. I needed the allergy classes about 31 years ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> My son is allergic to the wind blowing wrong. Oh, <laughs> the wind can blow wrong and his eyes go mm -hmm. and I'm like, at one point, he was taking shots. Uh, he now takes Claritin every day. Uh, mm -hmm. And his son, because allergies are hereditary, his son has it. And I know he got him. Most, me and his father have allergies. We have mm -hmm. separate allergies. Different. Al he has yeah. uh, different allergies than I do. And my middle son caught them all. <laughs> I was mm -hmm. like, oh, my baby. Right. And that's but one of the he, things that, you know, is allergies have a genetic component. Right. Right. And and and, and it's hard to um, the one thing that I did learn, the one thing that 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 pointed that out to me, that stood out to me when you when we were in the NCS class, when you talked about 
uh, cradle cap. Mm -hmm. And that light bulb went on. So I, it was like a thousand watts. I was like, mm -hmm. that's why my son, because he, when I tell you he had it bad, I mean, it was all the way down here going all the way back. And it was a thick coat. It wasn't just little flakes. It was a thick coat and it stayed a while. And I was, if I had not, like I said, I did this class 30 something years ago because I would have known to prepare myself for, you know, calls from school. Your child has mm -hmm. peacock. No, he has allergies. Yeah. Or the, he's allergic to the school because his classes are in the basement. And basically, mm -hmm. they have mold. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! All this other, all these things. Oh man, I, I yeah. need to come to that class. <laughs> I need to be in that class. Oh, we'd uh, love to have you. But Karen said, uh, "Would uh, so will your old faithfuls have access to your new courses?" Yeah. So I'm going to address that in just a second because these okay. two things tie together. Okay. We are predominantly, as a training company, known for two things. One, as you brought up, Angela, we put a name to things that you knew. In other words, we're well known for being, people tease me and I own it. I'm a geek. I like to research stuff. I like to know what's going on and I like to keep the science up to date. And understanding the science behind things lets you understand the why that you were talking about, right? Well, the other thing that we're known for is that our online courses, when you sign up for an online, one of our standard online courses, whether it's the foundational, whether it's green is the new black, whether it's the advanced class, when we update those courses, when we apply new scientific knowledge to those courses, you have access to them. We are not a one and done, kick you to the curb kind of company. We want to be an ongoing support in whatever that looks like. And part of what that looks like for all of our students is access to the most updated information when we can provide it. Now, would I love to be able to do that in real time every six weeks or every eight weeks? Sure, but I'd go broke from filming costs. Um, so, you know, we update when we can, but when we update them, you absolutely have access to them once they are edited and online. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once they go online, are the allergy classes going online too? Yes. The first six weeks and the food allergies in depth will go online. Of course, it takes several weeks after filming before it's edited and before it will be uploaded. Um, but like all of our other things, it's filmed at an actual live event with real people. You get to hear the questions. We have a professional film crew professional editing. Um, and we just decided we're doing this. Let's just boom, let's knock them all out right out of the gate. Um, yes. And then we may have some more surprises in the training department coming for you all later this year. See, mm -hmm. I like, that's one of the reasons I like taking your classes is because it's not a one and done. If mm -hmm. it's a lot of information to just remember. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you don't come across all of it in one child. You mm -hmm. may not ever come across one, you know, one or two things in the book or the, in the class. And then there's that one time and you're like, I know we studied this. Where is that? Where is that? Where is mm -hmm. that? I love being able to go back and look and say, there it is. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. we'll write this down. Because... And the reason I'm so interested in the allergies now is because I'm working with this uh, almost six month old infant. I've been with her since she came home from the hospital and we're trying to figure out what is wrong with her tummy. The mm -hmm. doctor says she's fine, but she was fine on the breast milk. Mom's still pumping mm -hmm. and doing all that. But then we tried to supplement with uh, formula. She mm -hmm. started spitting up. And then so we chopped, took her off the formula, let her tummy rest. And then we they tried, the doctor suggested another formula. So we did that and it was fine for a while. Then when we decided to increase it, all of a sudden she started throwing up. And mm -hmm. then we took her off of it and then she started throwing up the breast milk. So mm -hmm. I'm like, well, yeah. if you throw up the breast milk and the Something's wrong with your tummy. Are you having some kind of allergy? Something is going on. I want to know. I want to know. But 
the doctor says she's too young to have an allergy test. She can't do that. But her mom is like you. She mm -hmm. loves information. Mm -hmm. so she stays up at night searching. Something's mm -hmm. wrong with my baby. What is it? What is it? What is it? And a lot of the things that she comes up with, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to need you to stay off the internet for a minute because <laughs> you're reading things. Well, she has a little bit and you just, she's off. And, and I'm like, okay. So that's why I said, I want to take that allergy class because mm -hmm. it's things like this that have me curious. Mm -hmm. But I know everything that you ask Dr. Google, you're going to get right answers and you're going to get wrong answers. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to start down a path of wrong answers and hand out wrong information. Well, this site said this and this mm -hmm. site said that. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Yeah. So, And we do. We look at Google, but we also, you know, we look to see what we find. And mostly I look at Google to see what everybody's talking about and what all the theories are out there. But when we create our classes, the actual content comes from legit scientific research. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually pulling it from published medical journals, public scientific journals, mm -hmm. things like that. I don't pull content from Google, from a Google search. Exactly. Um, and if there's something that there is no science behind it that I can find, I will share, hey, in my experience, this is what I've seen but I'm not aware of any credible science to back it up. Um, but we actually, I dig in to the back end. I go looking for the deep scientific papers and I try really hard to stay with publications that are from ideally the last two years to the last three years, no more than the last five. And only if nothing's been, hasn't, if nothing's been updated since then. Um, but otherwise I try to stick to the most current research that I can get my hands on. Uh, so it just it just all uh, if if you have been working with with babies mm -hmm. and they are just fascinating to you and oh and then all of a sudden something happens and you don't know what's going on with that baby and I mean it could be just just the simplest thing just a simple mm -hmm. you know change of shampoo or change of this or whatever I learned so much in that class. And now I offer suggestions to the parents. Well, maybe let's try this or maybe it's that. What do you think about this? Talk to your pediatrician about this before you change anything, before you do anything. But because of your class, I'm like, OK, I know where to start. Mm -hmm. I know where to tell them to start looking or have you checked out this? Have you checked out that? Because they have the symptoms of this particular uh, illness or allergies or, or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And like, that looks just like, me. and I, I, I will plant the seed and let the parents, I try not to, to override the parents. Like uh, your child has this and, and I, in my mind, I'm like, I know what it is, but I still need you to go check it out and get it, get mm -hmm. it approved by the doctor. And when they mm -hmm. come back, you were right. I was saying, oh, really? Mm -hmm. So I, I try right. not to to be the know-it-all, mm -hmm. but now that I know, I'm like, mm -hmm. let's jump on this. Let's do this. Right. And, and when you are an NCS, uh, you have to be able to guide the parents into finding out what's wrong with their babies. Some mm -hmm. parents stay in denial for forever and then wonder why isn't my baby doing this? And if you are doing it right, and sometimes when you do it right, they still don't listen. So, uh, but try to gently guide them and not be the know-it-all person, but you are there because you know about babies. So hopefully the parents that you're working with will listen to you and get their child the help that they need. Uh, the one, another thing that I like about Tanya's class is that she is very, very thorough. She doesn't just teach you, okay, so the baby's doing this and the baby's doing that, but she teaches you how to, uh, your, about professionalism, about how to, it's not, it's not uh, as, as, as the uh, class says, the email says, it's not, it's not your uh, NCS class one-on-one. -on -one. 
Mm-hmm. This is like 101, 102, 103, 104, 104. And then you change profession. Okay, so we got the baby covered. So let's go over here to the business part and then your resume and then your contract and your this. It is a whole, it's a whole well-rounded class. And when you come out of there, you will feel I was on pins. I was ready to go. I was on pins and pins. I was like, yes. And I went back to my families and bam, there was. I and I have I quit not knowing. I quit nannying, not knowing, didn't have a family lined up. I was just like, I'm doing NCS full time, done uh with nannying. And I turned in my resignation so I wouldn't turn back <laughs> on the 1st of May. By the 23rd of May, I was working. Mm-hmm. So I'm not telling you all to do that, but I'm just saying I felt that confident after taking Tanya's class that I could just, I got this. I can do this because mm-hmm. I have the terminology. I have the skills. I have the experience. I have the professionalism. I I felt so confident walking out of there and naming my price. And that doesn't mean you go skyrocketing the prices just because, you know, because they will find somebody that is uh, just as equal as you are at a more reasonable rate. Now, when you become the advanced, the elite and the master, oh, then you can go in hard. (laughs) Because you know that you are have you have become the baby geek, yeah, and you know all the baby. And if you don't know it, you know where to go find it. Mm-hmm. How to yeah, and you do. Find. You made a great you made a great point, Angela. You do have to look at what the market will bear. Um, and yeah, we do. We work hard to equip our students with everything that they need, but we also provide ongoing mentorship. We have a very large group of students with a large team of mentors because I tell my students right out of the gate, I'm not going to sit and lie to you and tell you that I'm going to mentor every single one of you personally all on my own because it's not possible. There are not enough hours in the day to effectively mentor every single student. Now, do I try and hop on and answer every question that I possibly can? You bet that I do. I'm always trying to do that. But instead of doing that and leaving somebody hanging, we assembled an entire team of mentors and we have a Facebook group where they're in. And a lot of times if I see a question that somebody else knows more than I do about it, because there's a lot of people in there that know more than I do about a lot of things, then we tag them so that the specialist, the mentor who really focuses on that can answer. And it provides a great ongoing opportunity to give you that support when you launch and not everybody's going to jump in with both feet right off the end of the diving board like angela did but there are still yeah (laughs) but this but the support is i I was burnt out of my job too that had a lot to do with it (laughs) yeah so uh but like tanya said There is a lot of of mentoring that goes on after you take the class. It's not a, okay, here's the test. Here's your certificate. Sayonara. That's not how it is because I like to keep learning. And even though I don't say much, I look and I'm like, oh, and all the comments I learn by reading people's comments, the debates that go on, or what I said this, and I did this, and then this happened, and that happened, and this happened. And it gives me um, like, okay, so, well, if this happens, I need to try this, I need to try that. And I remember, I write these things down. Okay, so these are the things that I need to try. Even though I'm like, okay, I have no clue about this. I am still learning. But if I'm ever faced with this, I don't know where to go. And, and I will take notes and say, okay, so this is the problem. These are some of the solutions. These are, are some of the symptoms and some of the solutions that I can try. I have the parents try to fix this problem. And I that's how I learn. Because if I don't know, I, I'm like, I'm like the one that uh don't ask the stupid question, but no questions are stupid, 
Right. So I sit behind the scenes. Oh, somebody finally asked that question. Let me get up, jump on it. <laughs> so that's me. That's how I, mm-hmm. I operate. But if you all have not signed up for the class yet, please do so. Here is the uh, the 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 website that you can go to Mm -hmm. uh, to find and sign up for the class. If you're anywhere near near Denver and you even think have an inkling about it, you better jump on it because it it will sell out. Mm -hmm. I promise you that it will sell out. And And I would say related to that because we are following CDC guidelines and City of Denver protocol for COVID um, the room, the, and we are in a ballroom, but it does not change the fact that the room has a limited capacity. We can only take so many people, and it is selling quickly. And so we, it, w- there's a good chance. You're right, Angela. It, it may well sell out. Um, they usually do. And so if somebody is interested in getting in there, they need to get in sooner rather than later. Part of the reason we chose Denver, just even aside from the requests all the time, is Denver's pretty centrally located and it's pretty cheap to fly there. Um, And the hotel that I am staying at is offering a discount to anybody coming in from out of town. Um, And we already have people coming from out of town. We have one student coming from Germany for the classes. Oh, see, now they're, okay, Americans. (laughs) <laughs> let's get to the class right let's get to the class um i promise you if you're worried about oh it costs too much it costs too much guess what there is a discount mm-hmm. now tell us about the discount uh tanya mm-hmm. so the individual classes that are standard classes that we've done the foundational the advanced the green is the new black are not discounted at the event but the two new classes are actually half price because they are filming event classes and they are brand new or if you're really wanting to spend the the week learning and come out of it feeling like holy cow am i a well-equipped nanny or i'm a well-equipped newborn care specialist then we're actually offering 400 dollars off the total which essentially means you get the two new classes for free Um, and so there is a discount if you decide you want to do all of it but there's also discounts if you do the foundational or the advanced and one of the other classes you also get a discount off of that as well. And the coupon codes are all in the information um, and all the details are in this link that Angela has so graciously put up across there for us. Um, But yeah, if you sign up for the foundational or the advanced, oh, and you get your workbook free as well. Um, If you sign up for that plus another class that weekend or that week during the training. Is it the same as it was was before? Or has it changed? Is Is the workbook the same as it was before or has it changed? So the foundational workbook will be the same. The advanced workbook will be changing because we will update it. We will also be updating the green is the new black workbook. Anytime we update our content, we also update our workbooks. So which there's a lot of work behind that because those are actually um, Library of Congress published books. Um, They're not just some random thing I make up on Canva. We actually get them legitimately published. Um, And so, yeah, they they will be updated. And I still have mine and I took my little tabs so that I wouldn't have to be, okay, let me look through the index. I -hmm. took tabs and I went all the way down. Okay, this is uh, uh, torticollis. This is cradle cap. This is the 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 lip tie, the tongue ties. This is the, uh, what's the, the, the lip, the, I can't even think of it. Um, Cleft lip. That's that's mm-hmm. what we're I, I have them all, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. so I can say, oh, flip it over, and I can look it up. I can reference my book and the notes that you take in class. There's there's room for notes, so you don't have to bring a notebook. I mean, you can bring a notebook, but there's room for notes that you can write at the bottom of the page, and and that way 
the notes for that particular topic are on the same page with that particular learning the uh, the learning material so you uh -huh. have your own personal notes because i was doing the, the arrow this goes with that and this goes with that and this comes uh -huh. down here i i had it all because that's the way i learned now you may learn uh -huh. differently but that's the way i learned so i knew i had to match everything up so i wouldn't have uh no what was this for is this going to this one? no i matched uh -huh. them all up so that i would know what I was looking at, what I was learning. And uh, Andrea said, uh, very excited for the new courses. Yes, Andrea, me too. Mm -hmm. So like I said, if you haven't gotten your uh, signed up for the class, you better jump off the fence real quick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Use and that something, something for people to know is we do have, so we have payment plans. So if you need to do it through us, you reach out to the office. Um, and frankly, I don't, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know exactly what the, how it works, but Julie in our office will get you all set up. The faster and easier way to do it is just when you're checking out and you go to check out through PayPal, click the PayPal credit button and they give you six months, same as cash. As long as you don't miss a payment, you don't pay any interest on that. And you got six months to pay it off which is longer than you get with us and you're done. You have access to everything. So see, they got payment plans, discount. Y'all can't beat this now. <laughs> yeah, as my mama said, you can't beat that with a stick. <laughs> discount payment plans, not only from newborn care solutions, but also on PayPal and hello, live class you can see actual people again right right it's so, and, to see the and, so and to know too so we are this event is sponsored by abc dannys in denver um they're the ones who are graciously helping make this possible and they are the ones who have bent over backwards to work to bring training they have been such a huge supporter of training for a long time um and they are offering um, a networking event that weekend also. So you'll get to meet the team at ABC Nannies. Oh, and here's the thing, when you get to meet the team, that means they know you face to face. And that means that they then absolutely are gonna remember you. So that when you apply for a job, they know who you are in, even if you're out of area. Um, ABC Nannies has, will place Nannies or um, NCS from out of the area if the job demands it and there's not somebody local. Um, oh, and Karen put in the, the feed there too. She said, plus Kappa CEUs. That's right. Our foundational course yeah. is eligible for continuing education through Kappa, 16 continuing education units through Kappa for doulas for ongoing certification. Um, and it's eligible, our foundational class through cash through the Newborn Care Specialist Association and Newborn Care International. So we're approved through all the avenues for certification for newborn care specialists. Um, so we got the stamp of approval from a lot of people. Yes, and add all of them to your, your, your portfolio, put it on your resume because believe me, parents look for that. It's not just about uh, how many references you have. I need to know that you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I need to know and who, what college did you go to? What school did you go to? What training did you take? Oh, they will look them up. Mm -hmm. I promise you. And they will stalk you too and mm -hmm. find out. So if you have not taken these classes, uh, July, take a vacation. Let this be part of your vacation. Mm -hmm. I took a vacation. It was Ask the Nanny, Ask the Nanny on the road. And Ask the Nanny did some on the road stuff. I showed y'all some stuff, but I was in mm -hmm. class too. But you can take a vacation, plan your vacation around it, take a couple of days, take mm -hmm. all four days, whatever the case may be, get there. Yeah. Sign up for the class. Mm -hmm. I, I would sign up just for the people. I'm so dying to be in a classroom with, I mean, I, I enjoy teaching live online too. And that's what we've been doing to accommodate our students, but there's nothing like being 
face to face together with all those people and interacting with them. And honestly, your comment about take a vacation. So Colorado is gorgeous in the summertime and there's lots of beautiful things within a very easy distance drive from Denver. And the room that we're in, the whole wall is glass and looks out over the Rocky Mountains. It is oh, wow. stunning. The room. And ABC Nannies provides that for us. It is just lovely. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, okay, Emily's so. already signed up. Woo, Emily. <laughs> All right. Let me go back to my uh, comments. Okay, Emily. That's what I'm doing, learning something new and traveling. That's perfect. Yes, it is. I already signed up. Good for you. <laughs> Emily smiled. Yeah. Okay, so uh tanya are there anything are, are there is there anything that they need to bring to class with them yeah so when they register they will actually get a link in their information for registering and i think it's in, actually right on the registration link on regfox um, but if not they will get a link um, because because of covid protocol we no longer are providing community dolls we're no longer providing community blankets um, because we don't want people passing things and touching them. Um, we have, we will have um, masks available at the training. Uh, actually, we're gonna have masks from the Nanny Relief Fund and we're gonna make it a fundraiser for the Nanny Relief Fund as well to help benefit those nannies who've been out of work during COVID. Um, Yay. But, um, so we will, but yes, you will need to bring a doll and you will need to bring a swaddle blanket and we give you links to specific ones that you need for class. Um, and you can pick from a variety of dolls or you can pick something similar as long as it's the right size. But the swaddle blanket is very specific because we teach a very unique method of swaddling. And so it requires that blanket. Perfect. Thank okay. you. Andy. Mimi says, uh, hi, interested to see when the dates are. The dates are uh, July 24th and 25th for the foundation class. Mm -hmm. And then July 27th, 27th and, 28th? and 28th for advanced. Evening for advanced. of the 28th for green is the new black. Mm -hmm. And 29th for the two new classes, food allergies in depth and the first six weeks. Cool. I just put the link, I posted the link so you all can uh, follow the link. Um, here's the link. Uh, you can just click the link in the, in the comments and it'll take you directly to the page, tell you everything, all the information, and you can get signed up. At, and please do not sleep on this because guess what? You'll miss out. And I would hate for you to miss out on this. I really would. Sonia says, thanks. Oh, you're welcome, Sonia. Anything I can do to help this? Um, I ha I am so passionate about this class because of the impact that it had on me. And any time that I can get Tanya out of her busy schedule to come on live and talk about, and especially if there's a new class coming with new information in the advanced class, Y'all better jump on it. And like I said, if if I may have to find a way. Wait a minute. I just thought about something. My family, I, I need to find out tomorrow when they're going on vacation. Because they have a family vacation in July. I, I need to find out. <laughs> I just thought about that. Yes. Okay, Tanya, you may be seeing me. <laughs> we would love to have you. But, you know, you know about that. will this be the right time of year? I need to bring a birthday cake again. <laughs> yes, we're well, birthday's on the 29th. Yes, but, um, <laughs> yes, they, uh, yeah. I, I was totally shocked when I walked in and I saw this piece of paper with all this chocolate on it, and it said "Happy Birthday" to all the class. My classmates had signed their names and and, and congratulations and you know Happy Birthday and. I, and I, it, I was like, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. But then when Tanya brings in the cake, and I'm like, really? I still have pictures of that to come up in my <laughs> Facebook memories. But 
it was so, I mean, that was another thing that made it so special. And then I went to a place that I'd never been before and I got lost and found. I had a rental car. I had lost and found. And my GPS, I don't know. It didn't know where it was going one time. And I was, you know, kind of, I said, I remember this street. Okay, let me turn down this street. So the adventure of getting lost and found, the adventure of meeting new people, uh, of be, just seeing people, period. But but meeting new people who are in the same uh, field that you are in, who want to help new parents and babies and it is just, I'm just like, I get who we do. You know, it's all the the passion that's in me. You know, I, it sounds like I, I get real loud and real excited and real and real animated. <laughs> so I will put my hands under my legs. So I'm talking with my hands. But take the class. It, it, I promise you, even if you don't want to become to work overnight it will still help you when you go in after maternity leave is over with, it will make you more confident. It will make you more, uh, it, parents see you more of as a professional and not just you're the nanny to here to help. You are a professional and you handle yourself that way. This class pretty much demands that because after getting done with the class and getting done with everything that comes with the class, if you don't get it, I, I'm I'm sorry, but I was just, yeah, all of that. <laughs> so I'm excited uh, for the new live class. And uh, Patsy says maybe I'll take a vacation and do the advanced class. Patsy. Girl, I might have to meet you there. <laughs> mm -hmm. So anyway, um, anything else they need to know, Tanya, about the class? And, you know, I, know um, I, don't, I don't think there's a lot new. You know, you brought up the workbooks. Um, our workbooks are designed very differently because we want you to have room to take notes. And because we know that the brain learns best when it's exposed to auditory visual and kinesthetic and the writing is the kinesthetic part of it. It helps with remembering things. So that's mm -hmm. why we create our workbooks the way that we do. Um, would there, you know, like I said, we're going to have COVID protocols in place just to be on the safe side. Absolutely. Um, and there is limited seating because of that. The capacity on the room is limited. And so um, we can only have a few people in there, but our, our filming events are a lot of fun. Our live events are a lot of fun. Our networking events are a lot of fun. I'm so thrilled that we get to do a live networking event um, and get to meet the whole team at ABC Nannies because they do such a great job of, of helping not just support the industry, but, you know, Ginger in particular is really passionate about supporting new parents. So she's, every time I talk to her, she's like, I love placing newborn care specialists. I love setting families up for success. So it is hardcore, her passion. Um, and we have really, really loved working with them for the last few years. Um, so there's going to be, it's going to be awesome. And, yes. you know, it's kind of the first, it's not huge because of the limitations, but it's kind of the first big training thing for our industry, COVID. right? Yeah. I'm so excited. Okay. I got to figure out how to get there. Mm -hmm. I'm all excited over here. Like, you got to figure out how to get there. Uh, yeah. but, uh, one last thing. Um, before we go, bring your mask. Mm -hmm. Wherever you're coming from, bring your mask. Or she'll have one there for you. But bring your That's mask. That's right. Because we're gonna have we're gonna have nanny relief fund masks. So they actually say nanny relief fund on them. And we're just gonna ask people for donations in exchange for a mask. Um, and then all 100 percent of it is going straight to the nanny relief fund. Uh, so yeah. That's awesome. Uh, looks absolutely wonderful. Travel is my favorite pastime and learning teaching. Uh, the I think you say is close to my heart. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Mimi, take the class. Mimi is a tool, I do believe. 
Yes, take the class, take the class, take the we have class. Loads of doulas, loads of doulas who take our classes, especially since we're approved, we have been approved through Kappa. We're in our third year now of having been approved through Kappa for continuing education. I have a Nana Lisa. It's a fun one. Yes. I have one too. Yay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you get to take the class, you get to co to contribute to the Nana Relief Fund, you get to uh, get your uh, professionalism on, get to see people right? live <laughs> in person, even though you have to social distance, but it's still better to see them than not to uh -huh. see them. And you get the most fabulous teacher. When I tell you, uh, Tanya breaks it down and answers your questions and doesn't leave you wondering, uh, did I miss something? Uh, I don't understand. Trust me, when you leave that class, you will understand, thoroughly understand. Mm -hmm. And like I said, this is not NCS 101. This mm -hmm. is NCS professionalism, uh, how to just how to basically how to run your business. So you get the training mm -hmm. and more training. Mm -hmm. So you all sign up sign up sign up sign up sign up i cannot stress that enough sign up because and share this information with your friends share this information with your friends with your groups uh your 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 parents because it's the classes for the allergies and uh green is the new black is that for green your parents uh, well green is the new black is for parents um, mm -hmm. and Annie's and NCS, but the first six weeks in green and this new black are specifically okay. designed to be more general appeal classes. They are not NCS specific classes. Okay. So green is new black and the, oh, I forget first, that already. The, yeah, the, the first, first six weeks. weeks. And six. food allergies in depth. And food allergies. So mm -hmm. share with your parents. If your parents want to go and fly on up there, you can come with them, you know, leave the babies mm -hmm. with grandma. Hello. All of y'all can learn together. Yep. And we do welcome parents too at our, even our foundational trainings. We say parents are welcome to take the foundational or the advanced training for their own personal use if they want it. And we've had a lot of parents take it and really felt that it gave them a lot more confidence as brand new parents. So yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Parents are always welcome at our trainings. Great, great, great. So pass the information on to your parents. Maybe they want to take it, or maybe they have a cousin or a niece or, or uh, someone that they know, a friend who wants to get into babies. Um, but pass the information on because you never know who wants it and who, you know, who's seeking it. So pass the information on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Tanya, for joining us tonight. I really, really appreciate it. I get to, when I saw your class, I was like, yes. so. <laughs> well, thank you for I'm asking to come on and share about it. It's great you're to be welcome, able to spread welcome. the word. And I'm, I'm hoping it'll work out that you can make it too. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping that that vacation coincides with my birthday. And Tanya, like, pew. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, we'll see you all next week, and we are going to be talking about counting parents' coins, and I'm just going to leave it at that and let you just kind of mull over for throughout the week. But we're going to be talking about counting parents' coins, and I have a special guest. Uh, uh, she's a nanny, and she has her own business, uh, so come back next week. And we're going to talk about counting parents' coins. That's the title. So come find out what it's about. Anyway, we'll see you all next week. You all have a great week with and on purpose. <laughs> now, see you guys later. Bye. Good night.